Hey there, taking you for a ride with me. I just went to the store and I had something I wanted to share with you for the end of 2023. Back in 1995, the Lord used me to give a word at an Episcopal church. And the word was, stop cursing the darkness and praise the light. You know, we can get real upset about what the enemy's doing and the ugliness in the world and all the demonic activity, but the enemy's doing their job. The church hasn't done theirs. See, darkness is simply the absence of light. It has no power in and of itself. It can't do anything unless there's no light present. So if we did our job, the enemy wouldn't be able to do theirs. But the enemies made the church reactive instead of proactive. And we need to get proactive and put the enemy back on its heels. And to do that, we shine the light. We share the gospel. See, Yeshua said that he was the light of the world and that he's given us the light of life so that we could represent him in this fallen, dark world under the control of the enemy, under the control of Satan. Now, we know that won't always be the case, and we look forward for that day. But until then, we need to shine the light. We're coming to the end of the Gregorian calendar, and yes, that's what this is. This isn't God's calendar, but it's the one we live by. And there are going to be a lot of people looking to make resolutions for the new year. Well, how about you help them make the resolution to live in the light by showing them the truth about who Yeshua, who Jesus is. And to do that, we must resolve to live out the Great Commission, to do what we were called to do, to set the captives free and be like him. So as we end this year, do I expect 2024 to be bad? Absolutely. I expect it to be incredibly dark, but that means we get to shine even brighter. We get to be what he needs us to be at a time the world needs us to be that the most. So I bless you in the name of Yeshua. And in 2024, we're gonna shine the light. We're gonna be just what he needs us to be. God bless.